Results are in for, for some unique patients at St. Luke's Hospital. For two months, doctors there have been analyzing two mummies using new age technology to tell some very old stories. KCTV5's Carolyn Long explains. These so-called basket mummies were gifted to the Kansas City Museum back in the 30s, but it wasn't until the traveling Mummies of the World exhibit came to Union Station that they were brought out of storage and added to the display. Human remains. Unlike most of the mummies in the popular exhibit, very little was known about these Kansas City-owned basket mummies. Where are they from? How old were they? How did they die? Or even are they male or female? Tell them the bones sure look thin. That's why St. Luke's cardiologist Dr. Randall Thompson made a proposal to perform CT scans on the baskets. Kind of a godsend for us because really museums want to do the best they can for their artifacts, but if you don't know that much about them, then they don't get used properly. And now, after eight weeks, he's ready to share what we have learned through carbon dating and 3D imaging. A team of experts from here to South America were able to piece together a better story about so-called mummy A and mummy B. If you notice, one has a head and one, has a, one does not have a head. Uh, the one with the head is a male. The one without a head is a female. They believe they were in their 20s when they died and were short in stature. The female mummy was about four foot nine in life, and the male mummy was about five foot one and a half in life. And by their head shape and the construction of the basket, it's believed they lived 650 years ago near Lake Titicaca on the border of Peru and Bolivia in South America. So now that they feel like they kind of know so much more about who these two people were, they no longer go by Mummy A and Mummy B. The curators now call them in their ancient names for male and female, Runa and Wormy. Carolyn Long, KCTV 5 News.